I think one of the themes that comes out from all this discussion is how uh, important all of us think innovation is, either coming from the entrepreneurial side or from the technology side, uh, and that that suggests to me, at least, that we probably all agree that we need certain kinds of government policies that promote and allow that innovation to occur. Um, what these policies are, I think you can debate, but I think that that's certainly at bottom something that we all agree on and something that we, where we think maybe the government should step back and get out of the way or at least help promote uh, more than it does now. Well, I would um, make a somewhat similar statement uh, that I think we would all agree uh, that investment is something that's needed, investment somewhat in new technologies and in innovation, but investment in yourself. And after all, that's what every student here is doing. You're investing in yourself. You know, forget about Washington. They're, they're not going to create the recovery. Create your own recovery. You take Professor Ash's class, you're going to learn how to start a new business. Take Professor Merrick's, you're going to learn how to finance it. And um, I guess Professor Boshin and I can keep you out of some trouble. <laughs> but uh, uh, that's really it. It's investment and investing in the right things. The future for business, for, for our society, rests with you all out there. The students, uh, alumni, visitors, uh, it's in our hands to be creative, innovative, and to do what you think is really best for the country and for the economy going forward. Um, and if you think about it from a business point of view, ideas, ideas can be stolen. But the passion and your ability to execute on time cannot. That's something you can all do. And the future of the government is your future. And you gotta start taking things into your own hands and letting people know what disturbs you and start moving forward by yourselves. Well, I, I think it's, again, just uh, getting everyone to understand that we have a lot of problems that are um, not ideological, but they're arithmetic. I mean, things don't add up. And so we have to get them, uh, everybody educated on that, and we have to come together f for solutions. But the, the time to put the arithmetic that doesn't add up uh, across the TV screens and uh, blackboards or in meetings is, is right now. Because the sooner we start getting on that long run fix, the easier it's going to be. Think through where we're headed. I think it's so important for us, while we're heavily reliant on the infrastructure of our big business, I think some of the comments tonight that I want to reiterate is how do we also create and help promote the emerging technology piece, the innovation piece. Um, the disruptive technology piece is going to be a key piece on how we solve things. And I think it's not, that's not the expensive piece. Um, but we do have to invest in the human capital to be able to get there. And I think that's going to be an important thing um, as we solve all these problems. I hear people talk every day. And the thing I would add to that, and it really underpins what all of our guests have said tonight, is you know, at some point we have to recognize that we're adults and sometimes things are going to take longer than a two-year election cycle to solve. So I think we need to start asking those questions when, we're, when we go to our town hall meetings or we're in touch with our elected representatives. At some level, we have to start giving them the political cover that says you have to make progress and oh by the way we get that you might not be able to get all of that done in two years and if you're doing the right things over the longer term that makes sense uh, then, then, then we, will, we will stick it out and, and continue in that process. So I, I think so much of this is about, I love what everybody is saying about this idea of, um, of we're responsible and we have an opportunity to create something here, we have an opportunity to expect something different out of our leadership and we have an opportunity to model something different for our fellow citizens. So I hope we take advantage of those opportunities to do that.